so i will open the reducer and i will open the videos categories so whenever we uh, whenever we try to add the videos we are passing the categories from we are getting the categories from videos category so if i go to videos category i am creating the categories here in the state and i am updating this categories here so instead of putting it here categories and show categories we will put these two inside the action and reducer so here i will say i will add couple of more one two so i will say my flix categories and another one i will say show categories Okay, I will add a show categories. Okay, I don't need show categories separate since I'm updating at one stroke. So maybe I will update the categories with action dot categories, and I'll update show categories with action dot show categories. So whenever my flex category is called, we update the categories and show categories part. Initially, I will create it categories and show categories. I'll also create show categories. So this is my reducer. Let's call the action for that one. So I'll say update. Update categories. Update categories. So I will say update categories, and here I'll pass category and two categories, and then I will just uh, return the type is matrix categories, and here I will return. So I need two things. One is categories will be categories and show categories will be show categories. So we are calling this update categories instead of saving it in the instead of saving it in the state. So now wherever we have, let's call the let's call the uh, reducer here. So I will say uh, reduce. Uh, I'll call the connect in the in the top. I'll also call the action. So action is nothing but update categories. From actions, okay. From directly from the my flicks 
section.js. <coughs> so we have this update categories and I will create a function call update categories. And I'll dispatch update categories with two names. One is uh, one is categories and another one is show categories so let's call this subject categories and call categories and here i will copy this part put it here and then here this part will be my flex reducer and this will start with small letter so we are good in this one only thing now we have to call this call update category so wherever we see state we will update the call category so here first thing is here i will say this dot props dot all update categories I will pass my array as a categories and show categories as a show categories I'll comment this statement and then Okay, so then now and this is to display. I will go its letter. First, I will see where we are updating. So, options is show categories. Let's see where we are updating the. Now, wherever we are, uh, let's comment this too, because we are not going to call that one. And now we will fix the this part. So here I will say this dot props dot my flex reducer dot show categories and. Here also, I will say my reducer here also, I will say wherever I will find this one, I will update it with the props. Okay, that's it. So now let's see. Okay, let's see now how it goes. And so Uh, yeah, <clears throat> I'm thinking uh, what what uh, things I might have to change. Give me a few seconds. 
so i change the show category path but uh, how are we going to how are we going to use this category keys so category keys should come here hmm. Okay, let's see now how it was then we will figure out. The same categories is uh, and show category give the error. Okay, we have the error in the reducer. We use the comma. Let's see now. Okay, so here we did not close the did not close the down bracket. Let's try to let's try to choose the category. Okay, so I put two categories. So when I change the categories, category R. So okay, let's refresh again. And this is the myflex category, and I'm getting the categories and show categories. And in the MyFlex categories, I'm getting the categories, which is all the list, and I'm also getting show categories, which is also the list. So really, we did not did anything. We just added the category and subcategory. So when I'm changing this, it's really not doing anything on this category and subcategory. Okay. So now let's think of this value because this value is something which is getting changed. So what if I pass this value also to the reducer? So I'm just seeing the value where is it actually? So I'm getting label and value. Okay, we are passing the value here and we are updating the state here. Okay, so how about if I get one more category value null? Let's add my flex category. Value and I'll update the category value action dot payload. Okay, 
okay so i'm updating category value let's create same thing here so i am updating category value by some value and i'm passing this value as section uh, payload to value and i'm changing this to my flex value and calling this my value here also and i'm also creating of the function called as update category value and i'm updating the value and i'm updating the value and i'm calling update category value so now wherever we have the value let's call this dot props dot all update value with the uh, value we are actually updating the value in the reducer We are not really updating this real values also. I'm just thinking there is some thing missing which uh, let's see. Okay, we'll we'll see. Okay, now this value is coming from this dot state. Instead of this, I will create the constant value is equal to this dot props dot matrix reducer dot I'll get it from this one cat values and I'll delete this part here so value is coming from this cat values which is passed to this one Okay, I deleted this value. Let me see again. <coughs> okay. okay. Let's see if it, if it works now. Okay, so now I will choose the, this one and I'm calling my flex category value, which is getting the action of the value which I have chosen, and then it is added in the categories. Let's start to add the zero. I'm again calling this one, and action is coming from the payload is coming like this and the categories are these two okay i'm getting category values like this okay now i'm getting 
at least i'm getting the okay so i'm getting the proper thing now let's try to add it some video okay i'll open this also to see see the video which will be getting added oh, i'll observe this one here okay this video got added categories are four categories category keys are four category keys category path are four categories okay now i got it now what i will do i put the values in the reducer and whenever whenever the page is loaded i want i want this category to be pre selected so that means i will update this category values from the previous page so that it gets uh, so it gets updated in the next page so i'll say console.log okay let's see now if i click edit what happens okay so i am doing the categories keys and i am getting category keys as an array ting 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 now what i will do i will put this category keys inside the inside the reducer by calling this section so let's call this section again here in the videos one so i will call this one in the videos okay i call this one i don't need update categories only update category values and then i will also copy the function which does the update category values okay i need to call i need to create this part I don't need this part and then I will copy the connect part so I did the connect part now what I will do is so I did the connect part now what I will do we have this category key let's fill this category key where we are where we are getting it so we are updating the category keys here so what are the category keys edit record equal to value and category keys is coming inside this one okay so edit value is this is p edit value is so edit value might have category keys so we have the category keys here so here i will update also this dot props dot this dot props dot call update value so this dot props dot call update value 
and I will pass value dot categories. So here I am updating the updating the category keys so I don't need this part here so I don't need category keys here let's refresh the page and see so now if I click edit it should show the categories which we have so it's coming all the categories which we have Okay, see, because we are updating the value with the categories which we have. So we have, we have documentaries, comedy, judo and action. If I go here, I have children, judo and action. So I can see all three. So we are now getting the category because of action and reduce the. Got it. Did you got it? Okay. You can watch the video again because it is little complex and I have to do a lot of things to make it work. So now after I'm done with this, I realized that uh, Putting this category and subcategory was useless to put in the reducer because this does not make sense because this was not really the problem. Problem was this value. So I would have only put the value, then also it would have worked. But since now I have put it there, I will not revert it this two part, let it go to the reducer also. So it's not necessary. We should change that again back to old one. So now I, what I will do, I will commit, I'll commit my change and then I'll work more. I committed it. Now we will go further. Now we are only getting, we are only getting the details. We should also be able to update it. Right now we are just getting the details. I'm displaying it here. So when I click edit, I want this. When I fill all the details and when I click this one, it should really update it rather than, uh, rather than, you know, adding the new record. So let's do that part now. So now if you see, I get in this videos, I'm getting this edit record. So let's see what is edit record coming when I don't need this part now. So I will see when I'm submitting, I want to see what is this edit record is having. So when I submit it, I want to see console.log edit record is Uh, this dot state dot record return. So what I'll do, I'll see what is coming in the state record. So 
so let's see now what is coming i'll click edit and i'll click submit so when i click submit i'm getting edit record and i'm getting id here id so i can say i will put dot id also to see what is coming i'll create it record and then i'll say submit so i'm getting this id Now I will check if I have this id then i will i will uh, you know i will edit the record otherwise i will i will add the record so here i will see if this so everything is uh, everything will be taken here like this so here i will say so we already have the ID of the video. So we don't need to do this part if if uh, we are editing the record. Okay, so now So this category part we have to do also. So category part we will do after some time, but uh, but let's try to update the things without uh, category uh, category changes because we need to delete the old categories and then we need to update the categories. So let's. Uh, Let's try to only first concentrate on this part where we are putting. So here I will say if we have this ID, edit record ID, then do something else. I will do something. So in the else, I will put this part current and then. I will put this part. So here it means we are inserting, and this means we are editing. And then I will, this URL will be common to both. I will put it above that one. And here I will put, so here we are putting the unique ID, and we are. So let's create the unique ID as a variable. So let unique ID is equal to nothing. And here we are creating the unique ID with this one. And here we will say unique ID is equal to this part. And I will update. I'll go to the URL. So URL is this one. And I will also change the URL, which will take the UID. I'll say URL is equal to URL plus slash plus unique ID. 
So I will create the video is there. I will append with a unique ID. That is this ID. And then I will say dot set OBJ. So here we are pushing OBJ and here we are setting it because we are updating really. So instead of a set, I can also use the update what? I have to update it. I will update it. And this part, update part will really come. So we are, uh, this is a param list and we are getting the updated. So this is okay. We don't care. This is uh, for the list one. We are updating and this is the categories part. So with this category part we will deal later. Let's see if we are able to update it properly with this one. So if we have the record ID, we update it. And then, and then we set this one as null. So, and then we set this one null. And since we are not dealing with the category now, so right now I will return, return it later on tomorrow or Monday. I will delete this part because is only temporary for today because we are not updating the category. Temporary. We remove it afterwards because afterwards we will also deal with the category. So we need to remove it from here and we will put it here is normally whatever it is. Right now, since we are not updating the category, so yeah, it's a huge project and little complex now. Otherwise it was simple. Now things become little complex here. So you have to go to the video again and again to see. So I'm updating here and I'm returning the things. And also I will make edit category also, edit record also null because once edit once the record is edited we don't want edit record to so uh, so once uh, we are done we need to make edit record null let's try now again so current is not defined maybe i can put this current part Uh, outside, outside the uh, if loop. Okay, now what I'll do, I will edit this record and watch uh, what I'm doing. So in the title or in the description, I'm adding one number. In the title, also I'm adding one number. So we will see if it got added one number or not. Okay, so we will see here. So here we will see one number should be added to the description also and to the title also. If I click add video. Okay, it didn't update it here. The reason is I might have written it. So here I have written a statement. So let's, let's do it again. I will edit it. I will add one in the title and one in the title here. And I'll edit. So once I say, so you will see one is coming here and one is coming here. Let's remove it again now. So again, I call edit. I will remove it. And I'll remove it. So here it is removed. So except categories, we have updated the things. Message is also not correct. We have to change with the update. Message should be changed. This thing we will do on Monday.